Hello, Troy A, Shadow Infronix, Dane Barton, the Sound Off Challenge, Art Sound Off Challenge. Uh, sorry I missed yesterday. I was just really tired. I'm kind of tired now. Um, got a little bit of Colossians left. But um, <clears throat> here's something that I'm kind of uh, been worried about recently. <clears throat> I'm kind of worried that um, I've had a nasty habit of repeating. Yeah, sorry, that's the, my light on back there. I forgot that was on. Um, I've had a nasty habit of kind of repeating topics uh, lately. And part of me is worried that um, I'm running out of topics to talk about. Like I've been, I've been doing BW Media Spotlight for um, about 12 years. And I'll be. Let's see. Eight. Yeah, about 12 years. And I should be entering uh, year 13 um, later this month. Um, I could think next week. I have to double check that, but it might be next week. <coughs> and I find that I, there's a lot of subjects that especially recently when there hasn't been that much new to talk about in the entertainment world um, thanks to the 2020 plague and the lockdowns and the quarantines and I don't really discuss a lot of the backstage drama that's about all there has been to talk about um, I find I come back there's a few topics that I always seem to come back to um, whether it's an article I'm posting myself a video that I found on YouTube that uh, I end up sharing, or something in Jake and Leon. Um, although not so much there, but uh, elsewhere I think. Well, let's all come back to you. For example, anytime I see a video defending Superman or Scrappy Doo, which um, those of you reading my website, you will see again tonight, uh, I post it because. I like these characters. I don't like seeing them being trashed, which is what I see more often than not. So, when I see something going into the good things about Superman or explaining the how the glasses is not the uh, only thing that's part of the Clark Kent disguise, I post it because I want people to see it. I, one thing I know is that just like um, with every comic. Every issue is potentially somebody's first. When it comes to my site, every article is potentially somebody's first. You know, whether it's something that they stumbled upon themselves, something that somebody linked to, uh, which sometimes I'll see in a forum somewhere. Um, even occasionally on a website, somebody linked back to one of my articles. Um, for example, TV Tropes links to an article that I did about RC. Uh, and so I so you know I'll come up in the, or I'll come up in somebody's search or maybe somebody who actually reads the site and just decided to post something that was a good topic to the to the forum uh, when I was doing the reviews of the um, huge book collection of He-Man and the Masters Universe uh, newspaper comics He-Man.org which was part of putting that together uh, would link to my reviews for example. Um, Sorry, I'm still, I'm kind of tired now, so I know I'm pausing and umming a bit more than usual, and I already do that too much as it is. This is why I say I, I do better with a script, and plus I'm dancing this last little bit of lozenge in, in my mouth so I can talk without coughing fits, so <clears throat> I apologize for that. Um, but the coughing fits are almost done, so I shouldn't have to deal with that too much longer. Uh... But I do sometimes worry that someone who's been there a long time uh, is going to be looking at these articles and seeing me repeat the same things over and over. It's like, yeah, you already posted that a while ago. I'm in the Scrappy Doo thing. I posted something about Scrappy Doo last month uh, as a <clears throat> it's just the morning quickie quickie video, and um, here I'm doing it again as far as a regular post. So, 
Now I do kind of, so I do sometimes worry that I am re repeating stuff too much. And like I said, this year you've there's been a hasn't been that many new subjects to talk about. Um, but I do. It's not like I do it all the time. I also have one of the other article series that I do. Uh, other things that uh, that come up from time to time. Um, for example, free comic inside rare review the pack in mini comics and. You know, I've been trying to get a chance to do another finally watched, going through uh, my list of movies that I really want to see and watching some of them. Uh, so, I mean, I do have other things that I do talk about, but I sometimes worry that I go back to the same well once too many times. Like, you know, <sighs> I've been going back a few times to a topic about how the actors don't really see working on on a series the same way the fans do and or a fran or working in a franchise like t like the Titans or uh, other shows I won't get into the drop pulling pull it too much drama here but you know not so much to uh, attack these people because I didn't realize that they just don't connect to programming the same way we do but to kind of demonstrate that and try to say well yeah well you have a point, but then here's this other problem. Yeah, and so I mean that's kind of the balance that I've got right now. Is yeah, no, maybe nobody's heard me talk about this before, and they may not go through the archives. So maybe they're coming in on something that I just posted. Maybe there will be some they go back to and run into an old post and and put a link to that somehow. They're looking at a topic that I've discussed sometime in the past and that one happens to come up in the search engine um... so it is kind of a kind of a balance I want to, I don't want to keep beating a dead horse but at the same time when some new comment comes up about uh, about the topic or you know they like say with the Superman defense or the Scrappy Doo defense I'm kind of fighting this uphill battle with all these tons of posts that are out there on the internet, um, slamming slamming the characters, and you know I don't want to post every single time something new comes up. But if there's some new angle or some new comment that I want to uh, myself comment on, that's when I decide to do it. So. Oh man, um, this is probably one of the most, my most incoherent art sound offs. But so let's just assume I made my point, and hopefully someone understood. And I'm sorry, this is not that great. Um, it's not been my best week. Not been my worst week, but it hasn't been my best week. So um, hopefully you understand the dance that I'm doing here. And if you want to want to check out some of the more coherent participants, which I still need to get through the backlog on. Like I said, I've been tired lately. Um, then go to Twitter, look for the hashtag art sound off, and um, make sure you click on latest so you can see the latest posts from the other three participants. And if you said you may want to join in, you can join in anytime you want. You can only do it, you could make one topic and go. You can try to do the entire series at once, however you want to do it. Um, go to leanoart.com slash art sound off and find out more about how to take part. And like I say, I'm better with writing than I am uh, talking off the cuff, so maybe you want to check out bwspotlight.com and see what happens when I have a lot less ums and a lot less pauses in what I'm saying. Uh, but until then, um, see you tomorrow. Hopefully I'll, maybe I'll make a, make a script and just read off the script and it'll be make more sense. We'll try we'll see what happens. But uh until tomorrow uh today is Wednesday through yeah, so do another one tomorrow. Um I don't know if I'll make up for yesterday or not. Um we'll find out. But until then, I wish you all happy creating.